Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to use Proxy Switchy Omega with Google Chrome to manage your proxy usage. So first step would be to go to the official Chrome Web Store and download their plugin. Just click to add to Chrome button, add extension, and once it's finished setting up, you will see this screen. So then click on the proxy button on the left side under profiles, and here you can select the connection protocol. If you're using HTTP or HTTPS proxies, you can actually use user and pass authentication. But keep in mind, due to some specifics in how Google Chrome works, you cannot use SOX4 or SOX5 proxies with user and pass authentication, as it's mentioned here. So we'll switch back to HTTP because for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be using Proxy Empire's residential proxies. So the first step is to enter the server IP and the port. So in this case, it's this, port 9000. And then you click the padlock button to enter your username and password. In this case, this is our username and we'll be using United States residential proxy. So we just copy this password and then click save changes button. So now, we click the apply changes button here we need to make sure we're connected so click here and then click on the proxy button and now we're going to open whoer.net to verify that our proxy is working and now we see that it is indeed working and we have a US IP to turn off the proxy simply click on the proxy switch Omega button and then click direct so now when I refresh the page, I'll get a Bulgarian IP. So this is how you can use probably one of the best Chrome Proxy Manager plugins out there. And it's definitely better to use a Proxy Manager plugin instead of putting the proxy directly in Chrome, which is basically your computer settings, because this way you only proxify your Chrome browser instead of proxifying your whole system and you don't waste valuable bandwidth on Windows updates or any other miscellaneous activity. However, you should keep in mind there is certain downsides to using just a proxy manager plugin on Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. While it does make working with proxies easier, it still does not have as many features as an anti-detect browser like Multilogin or Ads Power, which actually do a lot more to hide your identity. Instead of just changing your IP, they also change your user agent, they change your Canva footprint and they also make sure to patch the WebRTC leak and any other things which might expose your true identity. So this is it for today's guide and please check our channel for any other relevant videos.